Each time we get a cold snap, something happens to a few of us men, the ones who go outside to prove our manhood by running in shorts, shoveling in flip-flops, that kind of thing. And we are honestly curious, is this a, a gender physiology issue or is it a, a gender psychology issue? You know what I mean? Are men truly less susceptible to cold or do us men just want everyone to think we're less susceptible to cold? So we are talking about this because Terry sent us a photo of, of her husband shoveling snow barefoot. She said it was, it was 10 degrees at the time. Then there are the runners. If we're lucky, they put on shorts. If we're not lucky, they're out there in their tidy whities like that gentleman was. And apparently we start off young because Shailene sent in this photo of her grandson in shorts and snow boots at, at I don't know what age. So researchers have actually looked into this phenomenon, trying to figure out if men just aren't as susceptible to cold. Han Kim, professor of public health from Utah, ran studies that did find that women's hands and feet tend to run a bit colder than men. But when he says it comes down to freezing temperatures, cold is cold. Yeah, I don't care how much testosterone or body fat or whatever you have, you know, when it gets to this, these temperatures, hypothermia and, and frostbite are a threat to everyone. So I think it'll, you know, it has to do with some, you know, probably a little bit of masculinity there, trying to show that they are more resistant to, to pain and to discomfort um, and therefore more masculine. Kim's research did show that while women tend to have colder hands and feet, they run hotter in their core. So there's a romantic tidbit for Valentine's Day. So guys, do what you do out in the cold. Just know science and next viewers know it's all in your head.